Hi everyone, welcome back to another scrapbook process video and thank you for joining me again today. So this is a layout that I did back in June. Um, I will say that this is a layout that I was originally planning on doing for the monthly series that I had started at the beginning of, of this year. And it was one where I changed it and I went to do, you know, from the Echo Park um, collection that I was using, and I changed it to be doing, um, sorry, got a little distracted for a second there. I changed it so that I was doing, using page map sketches. And I told you in the videos that I would be adding the sizes to the videos and so on and so forth. Well, you may have noticed that I have not had any videos up or very few in the last um, couple months. And I, what I realized, I, I mean, I was actually at the point where I was not going to do my channel. I was feeling a lot of like pressure, I guess you could say. Um, you know, I, I definitely wanna make you guys happy. I want you guys to like my videos. And you know, as far as all that goes, it's why I make the videos is because I wanna inspire you guys. But I, I mean, I, I just wasn't feeling it. I mean, I, I was doing a little bit of scrapbooking, but I didn't even really feel like scrapbooking. I just, it's kind of been back and forth. Um, but I seriously was done. I was like one night I said, you know what, I'm just done. I, you know, I, I don't even want to scrapbook anymore. And part of it's because of the channel. So I thought about it for a couple days, what could be causing me to not enjoy the channel as much anymore. And I realized it's because of these like deadlines or, you know, the monthly series that I'm promising everybody and um, joining up. <laughs> I feel like the way I like to scrapbook, I like to pull out a collection do some pages with it and then put it away when I'm either bored of that collection or I've used it all up. Usually it's before I've used it all up because I've gotten bored. So, but because of these monthly, you know, the Mad About Mini Paper Pads, the Stretch Your Sketch, um, <laughs> ironically enough, I just joined, by the time this video goes up, I will have done another one, Bash Your Stash. And I just realized I can't do those videos anymore. So this one, for example, I wrote down all the measurements. Um, that paper with all the measurements and stuff cut, passed around my room multiple times. I had been planning on putting it up multiple times. But because of the measurement parts, I just never got around to it. It made me not want to come in here and do the voiceover. And therefore... I just realized I think I do better just putting up videos as I feel like, you know, I have a few series that I, I enjoy and will definitely continue. Um, you know, the Spin List Grab More, I love that one. The One and Done, I love that one. I just don't want to have any more deadlines or, you know, deadlines isn't the right word, but rules or whatever, I guess, is the word. I don't know what word I'm looking for. But what I'm trying to say is I, I will have more, I do more videos when I don't have to have them done a certain way, when I can just do them how I enjoy doing them. Now, if I did this for a living, <laughs> you know, that might be another thing. But since I'm not getting paid hardly anything, um, then yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do, I'd rather put up a few videos that maybe the way some of you like them and not everyone, or rather than, you know, not putting any up at all. And again, I still like some of those series. I just don't like having to have them up by the 15th of every month or I'm just not good with that. So all that being to say, I hope to have videos again because just knowing that, but I'm not going to have like the monthly series. If I get another collection like the year with my Nomi's ones where it's you know, I did all of those layouts the first December that I got that collection and they were all done. 
in two weeks. And, you know, those I could just plop onto, you know, do a quick voiceover if I hadn't done a voiceover and plop them onto my channel. Um, so I'm not going to continue with any, well, I don't want to say with any monthly series. I may, I haven't decided about the Mad About Mini paper pads or the stretcher sketch. I don't mind those. Um, we'll see. Those are up in the air. I will still do videos using page maps because a lot of you were happy to see page maps. Um, and I love page maps. I'm just not going to put the rules that one, it has to be, you know, from the month before, or it has to be a new page map sketch. I'm just going to find a page map sketch that I love that goes with my photos that works with what I have as far as paper and go from there. And then I will get the video up when it goes up. And, um, again, I'm not trying to be like, I, I want to make you guys happy, obviously, because you're my viewers and without you guys, I wouldn't have anybody, but it's either that or I just don't feel like scrapbooking and there's no videos at all. And so I hope you guys all understand. I hope you'll still hang in there with me. And um, you may have noticed that since I've made that decision, I've actually had some videos up because I've done voiceovers from, <laughs> I think I've done like, this will be my fifth or sixth one just today, which obviously by the time these go up, they don't, they won't all go up in the same day or week or anything like that. But I feel better making that decision and um, I just hope you guys will hang in there with me and you know yeah I don't know what else to say about that so that is why kind of you haven't seen me and um, I hope to get back into it I have a crop coming up I actually have two crops coming up this fall that uh, today is like September the middle of September by the time, it'll be probably a couple weeks before this video goes up because I want to stretch these videos a little bit so I have time to make more. But um, yeah, so let me know if you have any comments below. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to be totally brokenhearted, again, I apologize, but I think you guys will all be okay. I've never really had problems with you guys as viewers. So, and you know, I thank you for that. Um, to this layout, I am pretty much following the sketch. Uh, love how this layout turned out. This is, I don't remember what layout number this is as far as using the Coco Vanilla Happy Days collection, but I do know by the time I put this collection away, it is now into my pile waiting for the one and done series. I tried to squeeze out one last layout or two last layouts, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. And I thought, you know what, whatever layout I do, I'm not going to like. So I put it away and I will, when I come across something, I will bring it back out. Um, I love this sketch. Page map sketch though, page map sketches don't always work for me if I don't have a lot of times they call for double pattern. Yeah, like a double pattern paper. Um, so like I wouldn't have been able to do this layout if I didn't have two of that blue background. So um, keep that in mind when you're using page map sketches. Uh, I do have a video somewhere in this lineup that I will put up with my couple recent hauls where I talk about why I bought what I did, um, doodlebug hauls anyway. And it, it makes a lot of sense and it starts to like dawn on me even in, as the video goes along that, hey, that's why I bought this paper. Um, it's, it's kind of funny because it did really kind of open my eyes and it has changed how I purchase things. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that video whenever it goes, if it's live before this one or not, I don't know. But, um, anyways, this layout, pretty simple, had the two black or blue main background papers, um, making some clusters. There was a white you don't have to make it white, but I considered it white. Little section there of cardstock that I put kind of in the middle. And um, my title is going to be Hello Sunshine. And I have left that area blank underneath Hello Sunshine for my journaling. I don't know if the still shot photos have the journaling in them or not. Uh, because again, I did this layout way back in June. So I don't really remember. But um, 
I know that I, that's why there is that big empty space there. Now in one of my other videos, I showed that fancy little rolling kind of tool you could use uh, to make your flowers kind of have a little shape. And for this video, I think I was just didn't want to deal with the extra time. It doesn't take too much longer to do that to your um, flowers and such, but it did take some time. So I'm just literally just taking my flowers here and just kind of bending and folding and kind of doing the same thing, just giving them a little bit of dimension, not a ton. I, I just kind of wanted this layout to be real playful and fun. Um, this is actually us for, on a 4th of July at a 4th of July picnic playing in the water. So um, yeah, and I'm working with the clusters. A lot of times I notice when people bend flowers to go on a card or a layout, they'll bend the petals up. I'm kind of the opposite where I like to kind of bend them um, like a rainbow, uh, I guess you would say. So where the kind of where the petal is closer to the middle of the flower is where it goes up, but then it goes back down. I don't know why that just seems to work, look a little better to me, but you can do it however you want. And, uh, I did that with all the flowers, glued some flowers, glued all the clusters down. I didn't have you sit there and watch me glue everything down. Um, I think I had to stop the video for one reason or another and didn't realize it wasn't back on. Um, adding some more stickers around now. And I am working on this cluster up here in the top middle. It will cover both pages, but I that doesn't bother me. If it bothers you, just move the cluster over a little bit one way or the other and it's simple as that. And then I am sprinkling some of these, I'm going to call these enamel hearts, I guess, puffy hearts. Um, I think you could pretty much call them anything nowadays though, right? <laughs> this is a new item that Coco Vanilla has been having lately and I love it. I don't know. I got this Coco Vanilla collection and I used it right away. I didn't even go on my shelf. It was kind of interesting. So um, I've never used a collection that fast before, but I really loved it and I'm glad. So here is the still shot photos. Oh, and I did add a little sewing. I guess I completely forgot about that part. So I did sew around the edges of some of the papers. And if you have any questions or any comments, let me know below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are having a great day and I shall catch you in the next video. I'm hoping to get at least one more voiceover done today. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.